let us know what is customer churn. Customer churn is the percentage of customers that stop using the product and service that your company offers over a specific period of time. It is an important metric to track because lost customer is equivalent to lost revenue. It's critical to improve customer retention and reduce churn because it's more expensive to find new customers than to keep the existing ones. As a result, companies that lose consumers not only lose the income generated by those customers, but they are also saddled with the high expense of acquiring new customers. It is key for telecommunication companies to recruit new customers while avoiding contract terminations in order to expand their revenue generating base. When it comes to churn, many factors cause customers to cancel their contracts, such as better pricing offers, more attractive bundles, or poor service experiences. Let me show you a customer churn analysis in a telecommunication customers. First, we have the demographic profile of the customers. On the left side is the client demographics, they are the customers who continuously use the product and services that the company offer. On the first graph, it shows that 666 out of 5,174 customers are senior citizens. Here, it shows that 2,405 of the clients are VIP customers. And, 2,733 of them have partners. On the right side of the page, they are the customers who stopped using the services of the company. Out of 1,869 of the customers who churned, 25.47% of them are senior citizens. A total of 1,331 are VIP customers and 669 of them have partners. It shows that being a senior citizen doesn't really affect the customer churn, same with being a VIP customer. Next, we have the services that the telecommunication company offers. We can see that returning customers usually avail only one service, while the customer churn has the highest on the total of three services availed. Most of the clients, returning or churn, avail the phone service but majority of them doesn't have multiple lines as the pie chart shows. Most of the churned customers avail the fiber optic for their internet services. And on the bottom part of the page are the total of the other services offered. This part of the report suggests that the number of services availed is not relevant on the decision of the customer to end the usage of the services, but maybe because they had a poor service experience. For the last page of the report, we have payment section of the customers, it only shows that manual payment really affects the decision of a customer to churn. And most of them use electronic mail check as their payment method. Contract terms among returning customers have a fair distribution of total, while on the churning customer, most of them have a month-to-month -month contract terms as the donut chart suggests. Both types of customers have the highest population that has a paperless billing. Returning customers have the average total charges of 2.56 thousand, while churn customers have 1.53 thousand. Based on the analysis, telecommunication companies can reduce customer churn by improving their services, offering a longer contract term for customers, and automatic as their payment mode. That is all. If you have any questions and clarification, just shoot them on my email that can be found on the bottom of the screen. Thank you.